Hello, my dear friends. Last week, we talked a lot about the situation between United States and Russia, Ukraine and Russia, Russia and European Union. Uh, talk about a, little, a lot about the Russian troops on the Ukrainian borders, the situation about the uh, inside of Ukraine, political crisis in Ukraine. Of course, it's very important topics, but uh, I think not less, but even more important topic uh, is still behind the curtains of uh, world politics. I'm talking about the relation between Russia and China. Today we'll, uh, we'll, uh, just, uh, we'll see the results of the last call between Putin and Xi Jinping, which happened last week. In eight days after dialogue between Putin and Biden, Putin called to Xi Jinping. They were talking about many topics, but three of them uh, are main topics in this dialogue. And these topics are extremely important for world policy, for the understanding situation in uh, Euro-Asia. For example, Russia and uh, China agreed to create an independent financial structure to provide trade that could not be influenced by other countries. What does it mean? It means the new bank, uh, which uh, will use uh, will not use the dollars or euros, use uh, uh, Russian and uh, China money to um, to cover the trade between the countries. This is a very big trade, more than 130 billion dollars every year trade, and this trade is growing up fast. Of course, it's not so big trade like, like uh, between China on, or and the United States, more than uh, near the 700 billion, not so big also, but very close to a ch trade between uh, Russia and the European Union countries, uh, near 200 billion dollars. The second decision which was made, uh, Xi Jinping and Putin, this decision is to develop the uh, security and defense cooperation. Both countries are um, agreed uh, to uh, in the line with the consensus between Putin and Xi Jinping. Both countries are agreed to uh, fulfill uh, and to develop the cooperation with uh, uh, ODKB. China called to uh, start the cooperation with ODKB. This is war bloc, uh, something like the opposite to NATO, war bloc which is leading by uh, Russia. Also, countries agreed a big economical package, uh, including the new pipeline from the Russia to the China through Mongolia. Many, many topics today uh, combined, combining uh, the Russian and China position, and we will see, and we see every day this common position in uh, Security Council of the United Nations, in Venezuela, in Syria, in Africa, even in Ukraine also. It looks like the, uh, China and Russia ha uh, have informal um, union, or to the many or to the most of world important topics. Also, in this meeting, both leaders of the China and Russia called that it was impossible to make a broke this cooperation for other countries. Will I think they? Uh, talking about, of course, of United States. In any case, this cooperation is this unity, this informal unity between China and Russia. It, it, it is the, more, the biggest dangerous, biggest history dangerous for West and United States, uh, exactly. And of course, this unity, this cooperation between China and Russia, uh, uh, will make big influence for the international policy of NATO and the United States, European countries, also to the Ukraine and m many others, uh, uh, third, second, uh, second countries. Uh, of course, this cooperation, uh, China and Russia, looking like a st their strategic will uh, and um, their chance to. Uh, to win the world uh, competition, world economical and political competition. 
Of course, there's this situation uh, we are uh, we, we need to rethink uh, the uh, role of uh, such countries of Ukraine and look in the place for the bridge between West and East, uh, West, because in other situation we should be smashed by this uh, this competition between two big blocks, Western and uh, Eastern countries. Of course, uh, we will talk about this more detailed in our few future videos with uh, more figures, with uh, more facts. But I promise you to look at, at the situation between the Russia and China very, very often and very carefully. Thank you for this for watching this blog, friends. Please write down your comments. I will be happy to answer for it. See you next time. Mm -hmm.